Which profession attracts the worst kinds of people? Unpopular opinion but nurses. There is a lot, a lot, of toxic abusive high school girl drama type behavior among nurses. It's such an important job and about half the people doing it shouldn't be responsible for a yogurt, let alone a human being's life. I've seen some shit, man. The executives that run MLMS. Pyramid scheme property agents. I have had a few friends that have become realtors later in life. The ones that stayed with it, it totally changed who they are. After a few years they are hardly recognizable as the same people. Vain, shallow, and 100% of the time they are in character and trying to sell. Had a coworker I really liked a couple years back. Got tired of our shit pay and work hours so quit and became a realtor. It's so bizarre how it's just become her personality. Her Facebook and Instagram pages are of her in professional attire giving that South Park style professional smile and stance look and literally all of her posts are about selling houses. Hashtag X200B, I guess I can't be mad at the hustle but so weird to just ditch your whole personality like that. I get the feeling that selling a big property is such a rush that those who are good become literally addicted. It's more that if you sell a property you get thousands of dollars. If you don't, you get literally nothing for your efforts. It can lead to desperation. Ian R. Yeah, I have some friends in real estate, this is definitely it. If they're not hustling 247 they could hit a dry streak and blow through their savings. One of them is one of my best friends and he's able to tone it down if we're just hanging out. Reality TV. And by extension, influencers. Influencers. Paparazzi. I don't particularly pay attention to celebrity shit but I'll never forget when paparazzi climbed up the ducking fence around Michelle Williams, I think that's her name, it's been a minute, after Heath Ledger, her husband, died to fucking snap photos of a woman grieving her husband who had unexpectedly passed away a matter of days ago. I was pretty deep into my Lil Anarcha punk, fuck mainstream media who cares kinda stage at that time, but I remember feeling such a deep sadness for homegirl that not only did she have to deal w her husband's untimely death and taking care of their kids by herself, she also had to deal with these grimy ass MFS trying to make a buck off of photos of her sobbing in her own backyard. Social media has actually defanged them to some extent. If you want to obsess over every aspect of a celebrity life you don't have to buy the tablets anymore you can follow them on Twitter. Wow I never thought about this. It's probably incentivized celebrities to have a robust social media presence, money aside. Not all nurses are mean girls, but all mean girls are nurses. And the ones that can't cut it are learning support educators. Oh my god. I am a school-based therapist and we have learning support specialists who are actual bullies to the kids. Some are nice, but there is one who openly expresses her disdain for specific kids. It blows my mind that she has a job, I've never seen her smile or say a single nice thing to one of my clients who she works with. Some of my sessions are literally just addressing her, and her mean girl teacher friend who both hate this kid equally, interactions that make him so anxious about being in certain classes that he has somatic symptoms and doesn't want to come to school. I had mental health issues as a child and faced that from certain supervisors and aides too. I remember we were lining up for the playground in first grade and some kids were trying to see who could hold their breath the longest. Another kid said can you die from holding your breath too long? And I blurted out, remember, I was six, I didn't have any concept of social taboos or sensitive topics, I know I can't, I tried it on purpose lots of times because I was sad. I heard the supervisors laughing and repeating what I said to each other, and saying things like that child is scary and it sounds like dialogue from a horror movie. I still remember how that felt to hear, even 16 years later. And saying things like that child is scary and it sounds like dialogue from a horror movie. What the duck? A child with mental issues is not horror movie content, nor does it make them scary. What it does mean is you doing anything other than getting the guidance counselor and parents involved is gross fucking negligence. Hollywood producer it seems. Over and over and over. Politician. Over and over. Edit, it is time to stop now people. You gotta go home. I thought I wanted to be an architect but then I met a bunch of architects. And architecture students. And architecture professors. And they were pretty much all assholes. It was weird. I mean how could it be so consistent? But there you have it. Law enforcement seems to have some problems. Everyone you'll start to realize it's people.
my favorite movie line is a person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals. It's so true. Okay so not really a profession but there is a certain subset of musicians who are also wannabe influencers particular people who are very on Twitter. So backstabby and cloud hungry. I find it worse the opposite way the influencers who try to be musicians. Influencers who do prank videos try to be musicians virtue signal hoa crypto everything in the blank is bad. Influencers suck as a category. By definition they aren't even creating useful or interesting content, that would be content creators. Edit, I have adjusted the spelling of huck to be equally representative of all viewpoints. Now if you say it three times fast, one. You'll clear your throat and two. An influencer will appear. Stockbrokers. I have some friends who are stockbrokers. I love them, but man, they are some bullshit artists. And not like, oh, they're a good salesman, and could sell you anything, no, it's like they make shit up as they go along and try to sound confident in what they say. I have met a couple people who were successful, lifelong stockbrokers. To be a successful, lifelong stockbroker, you actually have to like what you do. They all had crazy eyes. Each and every one. That'll be the cocaine. That's what they said. You have to like doing cocaine. Police. My mom worked in a prison. She said that a lot of the men in there for sex offenses against children had wary looking for jobs like driving ice cream vans, dressing as Santa at shopping centers etc. as they liked kids sitting on their laps etc. Apparently it's way more common than people would think. I was a correctional officer and the people who were in for the worst crimes were always the nicest, most respectful inmates and looked very normal. Whatever normal is really, I think that's what was always really creepy. I befriended a guy in county jail, the only person willing and interested in playing Scrabble in a room full of 50 plus guys. He was kind, giving, incredibly smart and cultured and I just assumed he was in for something like a DWI or the like. On my way out I was in holding with another guy who was in the pod with us and he informed me that David was about to stand trial for molesting his three daughters, aged 5, 9 and 12. He got 12 years. It's been about that long, wonder if he made it out alive. Sex offenders are notoriously well behaved. My stepmother, social worker, said when she was younger she would be relieved to have sex offenders assigned to her cause she knew she would have an easier time working with them. Not easier as in their overall case, just that they would be polite, on time, compliant etc. Jimmy Savile he even admitted that he tried to do so much good so it would outweigh the bad. Mission failed but still. Judging by the comments. There are just shitty people everywhere. Who'd have thought? Sales, estate agents, recruiters. I was a recruiter. I can confirm. My office had tons of drinking, drugs and married executives sleeping with recruiters 10 plus years younger. Well then I'm sold. Seriously, best career pitch ever, get this guy to job fairs. Tow truck drivers. At least 80% of all the tow truck drivers I've met have been felons, and about 98% have been shady dickheads. Yes exclamation mark I had an accident on the highway a few years ago. It was a multiple car collision, and nobody got hurt. But I remember a couple of towing truck drivers literally fighting each other to take my car even though it was fully drivable. One of them told me that we just needed to get it out of the highway, and he would release it right away, I fell for it and let him take it. Well, he lied he didn't want to release my car until I paid him $500. That's shady as duck and I wouldn't have let anyone hook up my car until a policeman confirmed it and probably got on the phone with my insurance to start paper trail. Not that police or insurance would be on my side but at least have some paper trail accountability. The police was there and witnessed the towing guys fighting to get the car. The problem was that it was raining, the car that caused the collision slipped, I think their tires were not good. That's why nobody got hurt, because we were all driving slow. We all needed to get out the highway, so I let them hook my car. The police then took all the information they needed, etc etc once they left, I wanted my car to be released, and the towing guy refused. Edit, it was shady, I lost money, but I learned a lesson on what to do under such circumstances.